is set so high up. This is ox pen. This is Lake Vista Road, this dirt road here. It comes in and goes all the way down to this cul-de-sac with the orange flags down there. And I'll walk over there and show you that. But you have this one house right here and then that house there back sort of behind that one. Those are your neighbors. Okay, let's go take a look inside. This is your view from up here. Okay. Come inside. We've got nine foot ceilings, crown molding on the ceilings. Look at these beautiful floors. They have some big furniture in this space, but it shows how big this space actually is because it accommodates this furniture very well. This is a big sectional. And then they have that big entertainment center there. Look how precious this is, oh my gosh. So pretty. I love the pink. He doesn't look like a pink guy. <laughs> love it though. You've got your dip on this side. And you got your Bible out. I love it. Reminds me of my grandma and grandpa. He used to do snuff though, not dip. Not that these people are old enough to be my grandma or grandpa. Okay, so huge kitchen. So much storage in this kitchen. Big island. Fairly new appliances. You've got the laminate countertops. You do have this stick on backsplash back here, which is cute. Love this big window and look at this sink. Farmhouse sink. Look at your view out that window. This right here should be a shot in the MLS. I wonder if it is. Look at that. That is the creek that runs out to the Shalot River out back. Look at that. Oh, the way the sunset's coming through. Now that's like a vertical um, feature shot right there. pretty look at these this reminds me of my grandma too uh -huh. so pretty look at that view oh look at the birds so pretty oh my gosh look at her cups and her tea set over here oh my gosh so pretty okay Here's Shelly again. Say hi, Shelly. Okay. So he said he was moving because just a little bit too much for them to maintain right now. They do have the dishwasher beside the sink. Plenty of storage in the island here. Very nice. Okay. If we go down this hallway, get a good look at these floors, really pretty. You've got a guest bath over to the left here. And 
nice storage behind the door for linens or decoration. And this, I believe, goes into the laundry area, which is blocked, but that goes to the laundry area, which is nice. Very nice features. The sink vanity is a little bit lower. It's not the traditional height that you see in these this age home, but this is a manufactured home. The manufacturer is still sort of put in those um, lower vanities even today with the newer models, but it does have the nine foot ceilings. So we've got a guest bedroom over here. Look at her precious light switch covers, so pretty. Look at this chandelier. They've taken really good care of the home. You can just feel it. There is a lot of stuff in here, but you can tell they've taken really good care of the home. It smells really clean. Not like a fragrancy type of or we're trying to cover up something, but it just smells clean. They may have just done laundry. This is the second guest bedroom. It looks like they're using this as more of like a storage. Oh, my grandmother had that exact vanity there. I think it's at my mom's house now, actually. Back here, you have an exit to the side of the home. A nice porch. And then over here, you have the laundry area. Lots of great storage. You sort of have a drop zone here off this door. Sink here in the laundry room, which is always nice. And then washer and dryer. Plenty of storage over here. That door, remember, goes into the guest bath. This is the HVAC unit. And you've got your electric box over here. And back through here, we're gonna go see the primary suite. So you've got the front door there and then your primary suite here, nice and spacious. There is no carpet in this home. It's all this luxury vinyl plank flooring, which is super nice. Walk-in closet over here. Wow. Huge, plenty of space. Your view from the bedroom is your nice uh, front yard there. And then in here you have your primary bathroom. Now this, this vanity is raised up to the normal height for today. So they just must have opted not to spend the extra money on that guest bath, which is fine. But you can see they just have, they, they just put the risers on there. I mean, they're not more cabinets, just more, they just raise them up a bit. Look at this great shower. It's so pretty. Got the nice towel shower. That would be an upgrade if you were to build one of these houses. Lots of space in this bathroom. 
and plenty of storage. I like it. So let's go take a peek back outside and I'll show you the land. Let's walk to the side of the house here. There is traffic on this road, but it still is really peaceful over here. I mean, look at this. Look at how fantastic thick this is. Isn't it really pretty? So your property line goes over here. He cleared this spot out and brought in some dirt because he was going to put a shed here, but changed his mind. And the property line goes to this white stake here. This lot over here with the trees on it, that's another lot. He's not sure what that gentleman is going to do on that lot, but here, this grassy area is the road, is Lake Vista Road. That road comes down there through the middle. That's the road there. And it comes in all this grass, it comes straight down. And then this is a cul-de-sac where you see these logs. And so, and that's another little pond there. It's really peaceful. But this is the cul-de-sac. This is the lot adjacent to the over an acre land that this gentleman and his wife own.
So that green box up at the street is the property line. It comes straight back here. And then, so pretty much everything from here to that green box up there is the property all the way back to the pond or lake or whatever you want to call it that lets out into the Shalote River. It's called Lake Vista Drive, so I'm thinking maybe it's considered a lake. I'm not sure. But he did do this circle drive and there is some rock here that creates this circle drive. Let me know what you think. I happen to love this property. Let me know what you think.